are just like synthetic. They're not like the actual drug, but it's like a synthetic smell. So it smells like heroin. It's not hazardous to the dog and he can just pick up the smell. There's no, we don't need to shake it. Nobody does, needs to do anything with it. You just open it. It's a little, it's a little pouch. This is heroin and it just, obviously if you, he can smell, smell it. it. Yeah, and then he's been doing that. Um, we started, we started meth last week and LSD. I actually just ordered some new packets and it's the same thing. So the dog doesn't get sick and um, I no can, risk of him ingesting no. drugs. He's still kind of new at it, so we'll see if he wants to do it. <laughs> okay. He might want to be playing and yeah. eating treats at this point, huh? Yeah. Absolutely. Then you give him a street. And then we'll run it from the other side and he he started to get better to where if it's on this side, he's able to hit on the other side too to the sand. Ah. One more package to go here, huh? And you said he's, you've been training on heroin. Heroin, fentanyl, we started. And meth. meth and LSD. Of it and there's the package. Um, stuff I, he also does tracking. Um, I do when I go to training, I do tracking with the, the Frank Kirk's wife. She'll, she'll take snacks, she'll go for a walk, and I have him sometimes jump up in the, in the seat she was sitting in the car. He smells it. And I usually have a 15 foot lead I hook back here, mm -hmm. and I tell him. We'll find her. He'll use his nose and he'll start finding her. We've had, we've tracked her a couple times. I have him on my phone. Very cool. So he's not a bite dog at all? No, not at all. He's a German Shepherd Malinois. He's two years old. And he's a rescue dog too. Yeah. So, and then it really depends on the weather too. If it's windy, how the, the pressure is and, but. Let's see. Yeah, we started him on meth April 4th. Um, we do a vehicle run on each side. So we'll, like, we have, I go to Elizabeth PD to train and we'll have cars set up. 
one car will have something, one won't. I walk them by both. I usually start on the driver's side, come all the way around, and then do the passenger side all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then we move to the drug, where the car's at, and then his detection is to sit whenever he finds something. To him, it's just a game. So, rewards. Yeah. He likes rewards a lot. So, yep, and that's kind of it. Uh, well, I think the community's pretty happy to have him. Yeah, I'm excited to get some stuff going, too. We, like I said, we do tracks, and I did a 100-yard 100, 100 yard track off of uh, Frank's wife's key scent. She just held it and dropped it, and he goes and smells it, and he just takes off. on Whether it's concrete or dirt, he's able to do it. It's a little harder for the concrete, and um, whenever he's tracking the smell, sometimes if they go up a driveway, it goes up and it's dispersed so I just let him roam around do his thing and then whichever direction he decides to go and we go that way and luckily the last couple of times I've done it it's the right direction so <laughs> we're, we're learning so. cool so if people want to make a donation to support the program they just get a hold of dispatch right yeah they can call dispatch and they can talk to me or Todd whatever they decide to do but he should be hey, yeah. He should be ready and uh, whenever Frank thinks I'm ready. <laughs> and whenever he thinks the dog's ready as well. So coming into service here in La Junta soon. Come on, buddy. Odin. With a lot of police. <laughs> Their newest officer. Thank you so much. <laughs>